my evenings tend to start a little bit different based on what I did that day. Some days I'm working from home, other days from the office. But this beautiful sunny day, I finished up work from a coffee shop, which gave me a gorgeous walk home to catch some sun and step in some dog shit. Oh, these shoes are new! The first thing I do to start my night right is set the vibes. I light some candles, play some music, and change out of my clothes. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I get home from being out, those clothes are immediately labeled outside clothes and I have to change into something comfy and cozy. I think a night routine should be all about winding down at the end of the day. Ideally, I would say this means no checking emails or doing any editing, but to be completely honest, we all know as busy people, this is not always realistic. However, I am trying to have my nights as slow and as calm as they can be because our days tend to be hectic, productive, and fast paced. And if we plan to do that again tomorrow, then our night should be the opposite of fast pace. They should give us space to really relax. This night, my real goal was to take a bubble bath. So I rinsed off in the shower and I'm sorry, but I love using Nick's body soap. It smells just like him and that alone brought me a sense of comfort and familiarity amidst the soothing warm water. Then I decided to pour myself a glass of wine because it was a Friday night and I love having self-love Friday nights where I drink water, order some takeout, sometimes pour myself a glass of wine and just rot in front of the TV. And do a lot of self-care-esque activities. I mean, truly, these are the best nights for me. I know not everyone loves a slow night routine. Nick is a great example of someone who loves working into the night where I am the very opposite and prefer to have the hardest work done in the day and save the night to allow time for me. I really do enjoy a cozy night in to slow down my thoughts and to spend time with the people that I love doing the things that I love like sipping wine in a warm bubble bath while finishing Carrie Washington's new book which I am obsessed with, by the way, Carrie already hooked me with Scandal and now she's doing it again with this book. Over the course of the day, we tend to forget about ourselves. And when I say ourselves, I mean our bodies, mentally, physically, emotionally. Using your nighttime routine as a time to check in is where I believe the most value of these habits come in. It's really important to give back to ourselves, take a shower, or watch some Netflix, pour yourself a glass of wine, and don't forget to take care of that skin, bestie. Not just the skin on your face, but the skin on our bodies. I love using a mix of lotion and oil for extra moisture in the evening. I know sometimes we are very tired and all we want to do is come home, pop our shoes off, and rot in front of the TV, but we only have one body and doing even one to two habits in the night that pour into yourself is not just making you feel good in the moment, but it's investing in your future self. These habits are not just about the physical benefits, but also how it makes you feel whenever i invest time into myself whether it's a workout a bath or just eating some really good food i feel so much better and i radiate that back into the world a big part of my night routine is getting my life together with house chores cleaning all to make the day a little bit easier I'm a morning workout girly, so typically I plan my workouts the night before to make waking up in the morning a breeze. And I'm so excited to be working with Halara for this part of the video as I do not just partner with any brand, I truly have to love the product and I always share my honest opinion. I've been working out in their clothes, wearing them on my Sunday resets, 
all before featuring them in a video to give my honest review and let me start off with my favorites which i truly struggled with because i ended up loving everything the everyday softly zero skirt in blue was so cute and comfortable and i feel like it fit my body so well you can wear it playing tennis golf pilates or casual activities and it's made with a soft to touch texture so that it feels so good on your skin. The gray top that I'm wearing with the skirt is called the backless twisted cropped yoga tank top and I got it in ghost gray. I loved how the top twisted in the back but still leaving enough room for your boobs not to fall out of the top while working out. I went for a more neutral color that I feel like I can pair it well with the skirt or the flowy wide leg pants you see me wearing in the video. Then I started trying on their dresses. The backless cutout white dress was adorable and it's perfect for a little Sunday fun day or to wear on a walk. It's designed with a rounded U-shaped neckline and has a twisted design on the back, giving it an effortless look and style. The everyday softly zero dress I ordered in a soft pink color. Just like the skirts, all the dresses come with shorts and a side pocket and the dress has removable shorts, which I really appreciated because I like to have the shorts on, but if I'm running errands, I like to take them off. And then for the Softly Zero Backless Active Dress, guys, so stinking cute. I wore this to church with a sweater over top and I received so many compliments. Have you ever been stripped down naked in the middle of the stall trying to pee? Yeah, well with this dress, you don't have to worry about that. These shorts are built in and have a waistband for easy bathroom breaks, which I love. And they also have two side pockets for storing credit cards or small items on the go. So you don't have to carry a purse if you don't want to. The Softly Zero long sleeve crop top was a simple yet effortless style. It has thumb holes to keep your sleeves from shifting. And I've always loved wearing tops with thumb holes when I'm doing long distance runs for that reason. This top also has removable pads for customized support whenever you need it. And it was perfectly paired with the high-waisted work pants, showing that you can wear it in a more dressed up style, casual, or even when working out. Now, the high-waisted work pants paired perfectly with that top and it just gave such a timeless look, but of course also still super comfortable and cute so that you can wear them to work or moving around the office and you don't have to sacrifice style over comfort, which I'm always gonna be looking for an outfit that's gonna give me both, okay? I also loved pairing these pants with the Softly Zero ripped long sleeve crop top. It comes in brown or black and this top does not have any padding, but it's designed with a nice coverage round neckline and still allows your skin to breathe all while still being cute. The black shorts you see on the screen has a super soft to touch fabric that has a four way stretch and breathability, making it also ideal for running or gym workouts so that you can still feel comfortable throughout your workouts. The shorts have a built-in side pocket and a high-waisted design. The gray shorts you see me wearing have a side pocket, but also another back waistband pocket for storing essentials. And they're super high-waisted as well, but I've always preferred my workout shorts to be high-waisted. What makes Halara stand out to me is price-wise, they're committed to delivering top quality products without breaking the bank. You get softness, breathability, and stretch all at a price that works for you. And can we talk about the size range and inclusivity? It's amazing. There's something for everyone, ensuring a perfect fit no matter your body type. So overall, I'm obsessed with these clothes and I would love to know in the comments which piece was your favorite. You can use the link down below to check out any of these outfits and Halara is kindly giving you 15% off if you use the code Aleas15 at checkout. I'm so grateful for Halara for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's jump Jump back into our routine. Ah, balance. The tricky little word that seems to be ruling our times. Should I be productive and get everything on my to-do list done, or should I reset and take some much needed time for myself? These are questions that I feel like I'm constantly asking myself, and yet I just can't figure out a way to make it work for me. Well, if you're similar to me and you struggle with time management or balancing all of your daily to-dos, here's my secret that I found works best for me. 
plan your day. And here's the best part of planning. Don't just simply plan the gruesome hours of work or at home task, but plan the fun stuff, the self care, the Netflix, the mindless activities that allow our brains to wonder. I've also found that I'm just not very concentrated at night. So I save the hardest task for the morning and leave the lighter task for the evening. Often on my channel, we talk more than just routines. We dive into all facets of health and honestly, the biggest habit that most people miss when it comes to living a healthier life is prioritizing their sleep. When we're children, our parents make us a warm glass of milk. They start to speak to us in a soft tone. They dim the lights and they read us a bedtime story. All of these small habits formulate a sleep routine to allow us a restful night since we're growing into our bodies. And yet, when we become adults, we seem to completely throw those habits out the door as if we're not still growing and learning every single day on this earth. So if there's one habit I want to leave you with, it's to become intentional with your sleep. As you can see within this video, these are the habits I aim to do every single night to allow me a restful night's sleep. And the impact of seven to nine hours does more than we realize. It helps us with weight loss. It balances our hormones. It allows us to actually know when we're hungry or when we're full. It gives us a clear and restorative mind and it reduces stress. And you know, often we'll find ourselves watching the TikTok girlies or the Pinterest girlies with their LED lights, making these sleepy mocktails and doing about 150 steps that look perfect and aesthetically pleasing. As we watch other people's routines, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking theirs are perfect while ours falls short. But here's the truth no one's routine will ever be perfect for you and that's perfectly okay having watched countless routines and being a content creator myself i've come to realize that perfect is an illusion what truly matters is finding those small habits that you can do most of the days that make you feel good that's the real recipe for a perfect routine one that's tailored to your needs, your preferences, and your unique journey. So embrace your imperfections and remember that your perfect routine is one that brings you joy and fulfillment. That's what will truly change your life for the better. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And until next time, keep radiating your light and stay true to yourself. Bye, bestie.